Not so long ago, women were seen as the primary target market of the beauty industry, but men remained at the helm of the business. Candace Thurston is one of the enterprising ladies who are giving this paradigm a tectonic shift by establishing her own hair and beauty franchises. And she sketched the background story to Zaki. Beauty may be in the eye of the beholder, but it is a concept that's constantly being redefined. Yesterday's stereotypes have no place in the world of today, and beauty is celebrated in its diversity with an entirely new approach to styling a woman's crowning glory. My hair has been a part of my identity ever since I was little. As a little girl, I remember spending hours in the salon straightening my big curly hair into submission because straight hair is beautiful. Well, the hair revolution is afoot and ethnic hair is ruling them all. I'm meeting up with entrepreneur Candice Thurston to show me how it's done. To her clients, Candice is an ethnic hair guru, but she's also become marketing graduate with accounting as a major. And she applies knowledge and skills to her business ventures. Hello, you gorgeous, gorgeous hey, woman. beautiful. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Great. You look amazing. Thank you. You also look fabulous. What are you shopping for? I'm shopping for the polo and it's kind of perfect because now that Candy & Co is in this major retailer, I get to shop and do business. Candice, where did you grow up and how has this influenced who you are today? I'm actually a small town girl. I grew up in Sukunda and I think it really challenged me in race dynamics through the good and the bad. It's really developed who I am today. What was your first experience of beauty as a child? I loved playing with like manis and I was literally like a nail tech for my whole family. Then I loved blow drying hair. So because I come from a mixed race family, everybody had different textures. So I'm like the master of the blow wave. Another thing is my mom put me in acrobatics and modern dancing and modeling. There was always like sequins on the costumes and different type of makeup. So I was almost forced into it from that perspective. Candice, what is the importance of deracializing beauty in this day and age? Deracialization of beauty and hair is not just about beauty and hair, it's about equality. And if we can make women feel like my skin is beautiful, my hair is beautiful, nothing can hold them down. Within South Africa, I think it's a very important journey for us in that we always thought that straight blonde blue eyes was the epitome of beauty. Now it's like anything is beautiful. But now can I share the candy love with you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> There you go. Oh, wow. My new wow, baby. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's my new store. Candice, how did you get into the business of beauty? I was actually a corporate junkie for 10 years and one day I stumbled across the founder of a very big beauty retail brand and went to a franchise presentation and as he was presenting and he was speaking of changing an industry and people before profit, I was like, we need this brand for women of color, specifically from a hair perspective. And from that point, I got the guts to send him an email to say, this is my background, this is what I'm thinking. He was like, sure, come present to me. And I presented to him and he's like, we're thinking about going into this industry, why don't we partner and actually launch this brand? And that's really how the brand was born. Why is the business of ethnic hair and beauty so important? The importance to start off in the ethnic space was to really have girls understand their hair type so they could have long, beautiful hair. That also comes down to skin. You're looking at foundations and you're looking at different moisturizers and serums. And that's why we now do nails and brows and lashes because it's a one-stop shop. The wigging game we started about five years ago. Instead of damaging your hair, turning it blonde, why not get a wig? Let me show you. Oh goody! So Zach, what we do is we literally personalize wigs. So we would take three bundles of hair that normally comes like this and then we build it up to what women want. We have girls say, I want this type of curl, I want it straight, I want it blonde, I want it red. And we only sell pure human hair, so this would last you forever if you took care of it. One of our best services is called a wig drop-off. Girls bring in three of their wigs, they leave it here, we wash it, we iron it, we style it and they pick it up and they're good to go. You are a very busy lady. What do you do for fun? Can I show you? Yes. Candice, this is such a treat. I know, it's one of my favorite spots. It's so close to home because I'm all about convenience. I'm so glad I could share it with you. What advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs out there? One, you have to be passionate about the industry you're going into because if you're going to have a bad day, passion is going to get you through it. 
Secondly, I think you need to be 1,000% in it because lots of the times people think you can have things on the side, but if you're not focused on the business, understand it from HR to finance to marketing, you're not going to be able to grow the brand. And I think lastly, you need to have a purpose-driven brand because the future of brands is really about creating change in people's lives. And if your consumer feels like you're a purpose-driven brand, I believe your brand will be successful. Well, here's to having the best hair days ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope you are all feeling inspired to adore and celebrate yourselves. Mwah.